A little over a year ago, I spent nearly 1,000 US dollars on Apple's fancy iPad Pro and Apple Pencil, mainly for online school. And in that time, COVID has wind down a bit and allowed a lot of schools to open for in-person learning, my school included. So when I'm going off to college, that raises the question, is the iPad Pro and Apple Pencil combo a worthwhile investment for in-person students in college? Well, to answer this question, I'll have to walk you guys through my mental thought process when I initially invested in the Apple Pencil and iPad Pro. Foremost and one of the most obvious reasons is the versatility of the device. You can use the iPad Pro along with the Apple Pencil for just about any given task there is, whether it be watching YouTube, drawing, creating thumbnails for this channel, and of course, taking notes for school-related purposes. So the versatility was definitely one of the main reasons that almost anyone, myself included, invested in the device. Then it would allow me to replace all the pens, papers, and pencils in my backpack, reducing how heavy the backpack is, the amount of waste I use, and improving the overall experience of writing as it's just a much better experience to write with the Apple Pencil and iPad Pro as you can move text around, create different formats, erase certain parts, something that you can't do a lot of times with pen and paper. Moreover, I knew that when I went off to college, I wouldn't have a ton of space for the different pieces of tech I own. And the size of the iPad Pro, the smaller one, the one that I have, is great for watching movies without taking up a ton of space when I'm not using it. I can simply fold it, slide into a drawer, and forget about it. But when I wanna use it, I can just set it up on my nightstand and watch a movie from the comfort of my bed and the small space I have. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, it is wonderful for creating thumbnails for this channel. The combination of the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro with photo Photoshop for iPad is just great for creating thumbnails as I personally like to have the more natural feel of using a pencil rather than a mouse when working with Photoshop. It's also great for casually playing a few relatively intense games on it. Nothing crazy that a PC couldn't handle, but it is fun to play some more labor intensive games on a tablet as it's kind of a new experience for me as I'm used to playing games on older phones that were not able to handle anything much more than a stick figure. And finally, something that's a little bit silly but definitely prevalent is just how cool it looks when you're using it. It's kind of a cool feeling to pull out a tablet and a pencil and to write on that and that be your notes when you're in class. Now, some people might not like that, others will. I definitely thought it was worth mentioning as it is kind of a cool experience. Now, that's not to say that I didn't encounter any problems when I actually physically took the device off to college and started using it a couple weeks ago. And the most obvious is just how fragile the device is. When you pick it up and feel it in your hand, it can kind of feel durable because of the squared off corners, but whenever you're using it and setting it down and writing on it, it starts to feel very fragile because of just how thin it is, especially in comparison to the 16 inch MacBook I have that is the thickest MacBook Apple sells. So it kind of feels very sturdy in the hand. And when you compare that MacBook to the iPad, which feels very fragile, it can be kind of a nerve wracking task to use it. Moreover, keeping the device in my backpack with its very high price tag of nearly $1,000 is also kind of stressful as you can kind of grow paranoid to people stealing the backpack with your device in it. Something you don't really have to worry about if you have pen and paper. And finally, as I've mentioned a couple of times, it is nearly $1,000 for the combo, something that is not taken lightly to pretty much any and all college students, myself included. That is extremely expensive for what most students will probably spend $15, $20 on when it comes to pen and paper. But to counteract most of these issues, the solution was relatively simple. Foremost, something I haven't done, but I'm likely going to do in the future, I could just invest in a pretty durable case to keep the iPad safe from any drops and blemishes and just make it feel more durable in the hand. Then I can get locks and put them on my backpack to ensure that nobody can get into my backpack and steal the iPad itself. And I also keep an AirTag in my backpack hidden so in case someone steals the whole backpack, I can just track it down and or give that information to the police or whatever needs to be done to make sure my backpack's found, giving me a certain level of peace of mind. So in conclusion, I am hands down really happy with the investment in this device. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first bought it, spending nearly $1,000 on something that most people spend $20 on, pen and paper was very nerve wracking, especially as a broke student. But over the past year or so and the past several weeks in in-person learning, it has already paid for itself and I'm really happy with the investment. However, if you're only gonna use the device for note taking and casual content consumption, I would highly recommend investing in the iPad Air with the Apple Pencil, not the iPad Pro, as you will spend significantly more money on the Pro for features that most people won't make use of. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator like myself any support really does help.